goes again. Oh my god! Lake trout have captured my interest for the past six years I've been an angler. I think it's through the act of trying to break the puzzle that makes up these complex fish and the incredible lakes they call home that searching for them has become an obsession. In July of 2023, I decided to devote three whole days to catch the biggest lake trout of my life. And after paddling deep into the back lakes of Ontario, I put myself within the grasp of giants. I spent the first day studying the depths and features of the lake and left the last two days in hopes of completing the mission. This is that trip. I'm in deep water using a big bait for big fish. <laughs> to put it very simply. Um, this isn't a fancy video. This is just a continued long journey trying to catch a big trout. We'll see what happens. All right, first trout of the day. Not big. <sighs> so much power. These are just smaller trout, I think. This one might be a bit better. This one might be a bit better. Yeah, another of the same size, cookie cutter. Another one, similar size, beautiful little trout. <laughs> just waiting to feel more weight you know <laughs> this is sick though <laughs> there we go nice tall body that's a healthy trout beautiful They're stacked here. This is kind of madness. Well, flash forward five hours and we caught four trout, all of which were under, you know, maybe 23, 24 inches. Not what we're after, we're, we're open for a big fish. So the morning was beautiful. The atmosphere was great those catches were awesome still haven't succeeded with that big trout goal but trying not to feel down on myself i'm having an amazing time uh speaking of which it's midday it's hot uh it's also pretty windy now 
Uh, and I only have so much battery on my transducer, so I'm taking a break. Gonna take a nap here and then probably have lunch. So life is good. Life is good. I can't complain. Look at this sweet spot to take a nap. All right, post nap, post lunch, post coffee ready for round two today. We're taking on the afternoon and evening, possibly into the night. We're gonna try to make this happen. I'm giving it my everything. Uh, I'm not gonna let up. I'm gonna keep trying and, and see if I can make it happen here. Uh, I think I wouldn't change much that I'm doing. I'm, I'm feeling very confident in how I'm fishing for these fish. I just think I haven't come across one yet. Okay, off we go. Another gorgeous one. All in that solid like 18 to 20 inch range. Back in she goes. I can do this for the rest of my life. Be in a canoe on a lake. Listening to Lord here on fishing for lake trout. <laughs> also, while I'm fishing, a Bonaparte skull flies by. If you don't know what that is, it's uncommon. It's to Algonquin Park any time of the year. Damn! Feels a bit better. Feels a bit better. Yeah, that's a bit better. That's the best of the trip. Let's go. Nice healthy fish, look at that. Beautiful. Day two in the books. We caught over 20 trout today, many of which weren't on film but they were all under like 23 inches. Gotten really good at catching the, the small to medium sized trout. I don't even know if you can call those medium. I still have tomorrow morning to go after these lake dwelling trout. All right. I keep saying this is the last shot, but this really is the last shot. The last morning here. This afternoon we have to leave and go back home. I've got a coffee, I've eaten breakfast. Camp is ready to tear down. Rods are rigged, spirits are high. Let's go have some fun and catch some lake trout. incredible the speed of these fish. I, I am amazed by them every time I fish for them, especially seeing them on the fish finder. Like they rock it up, they're so fast. They can swim so much faster than I can reel. We're out in the middle of the lake. Like we found a gem of a spot, at least for little fish, but it's incredible. Like it's such a cool experience. Like you know, you're not casting along shoreline. There are parts of the year where you can do that for lake trout, but we're out in the middle of the lake, like lake lake trout. These are proper lake dwelling fish out in the depths, out in the middle. The, uh, the wide abyss, the dark noir that is their home. It's so cool. Beautiful. 
beautiful trout. Don't get me wrong, beautiful. Go. Another solid fish. Shout out to Chris Rads for that big fish energy. It's endless. It's endless. The lake had gotten very rough with the wind and my time had run out. Knowing I had a long, tough paddle ahead, it was time for me to film the outro. Just putting my brain to it. So thank you for joining me on this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, there was no big fish, um, but hopefully, uh, hopefully catch one next time and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Maybe, maybe then we'll catch a big lake trout. Thank you so much. Peace. Afterwards, I decided to try just one last time fishing, but with the cameras off. Little did I know what was about to happen. I did the outro. I concluded this video and then I dropped my jig one last time. And we've hooked the tank. It just went for the most angry run I've ever experienced on a lake trout. I'm so scared right now. I can't believe this is happening. There's white caps behind me. I gotta leave here. And I think I hooked the tank. I think I hooked the tank. Oh God. It feels like I have a brick on. It's not moving. I can't, I gotta baby it. I gotta take my time. There it goes again. Uh, I hope you can hear that. I'm just praying all my knots, everything holds. Giving her some beans here. There she goes again. See some bubbles. Big bubbles. You know, all these little fish I've been catching had tons of scars on them. Like something I've been biting them. That's not pike. That's not musk. That's big lake trout. Oh my god. <laughs> it's big. It's big. It's huge. It's huge. It's my personal best if I get this in. It's my personal best. It's freaking huge. Oh, my arms hurt. Oh my gosh, it's a, it's a dragon! Oh my god! Whoa! I just made it! I just got it! Nick, thank you for the net! I wouldn't have landed this thing! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yes! It is a Goliath! It is a Goliath! Look at the size of this thing! Look at the size of this thing. That's gotta be 35, 36 inches. This is a dream come true. This is a dream come true. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the size of this thing. It is so heavy. Absolutely tank to choke the Look at the thickness of this. Oh my gosh. Back in the water. Back 
I'm in shock right now. I, I'm in shock. Like I, that was the last drop. I was seconds. I, 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 I was seconds away from leaving. I had caught another little reefer, like a little reef trout. I've been calling them. And I thought, you know, that's it, Peter. Look at the waves. You need to get out of here, and you need to pack up, and you need to leave. I gave it one last drop, a mark that looked like any of them, and I hooked into it, and it didn't budge. And I can't believe that happened. I'm gonna be reveling in this moment for weeks. That is the best fish I have ever caught. I am overjoyed. Cheers. See you on the next one. I just looked at the pictures.